Hello, how are you doing? I'm Machine Dana. Welcome to the channel. I hope you're having a really, really good day. In this video, I'm going to be going through alert box, specifically going into alert box variations. If you didn't know what alert box was in itself, alert box is where you get like graphical GIFs and images that appear when certain events happen on your stream. For example, when somebody makes a donation, donates bits, or even resubs to your channel, it'll do a graphical overlay onto the stream and also some text over that. And you can define all of the text fields for it, the images, the sound effects, all of that stuff, even the duration of the alert, all that cool stuff. An alert variation is for specific types of events for that to be varied. And a good example of this would be, for example, if you wanna reward someone for donating a specific amount of money or a certain parameter of money or higher, uh, or a certain bits number and you can really get playful with this as well and offer a specific variation for example if someone gives you 666 bits uh, it could play like a devil's kind of overlay with a spooky kind of I I'm just trying to make this up now I mean I'm not very creative with this kind of stuff but maybe with people like screaming in hell or something like that that will be the noise probably if if it's the devil so alert variations give you the option to get a little bit more creative with the actual alert content that you provide to people. And you can choose to keep these a secret and just have them, you know, just, just to your, your knowledge, if you wanted to, you know, knowledge is power. Or you could have it so that you publicize this perhaps in your panels, for example, custom bits, values, uh, notifications or custom bits notification amounts. I've seen this used really, really well on certain people's stream and it definitely encourages people to donate more or those specific amounts and definitely is a little bit more creative on the stream as well. It's worth implementing these on your stream, not just from the point of monetary, but also the interaction, the engagement and the variation that you get from this is quite cool. Variations are something that are really easy to set up, particularly if you've already got alert box set up on your stream. I'm not going to go through in detail how to set up alert box, but I will link a video in the description of a different video that I've done for that. We're specifically concerned today with alert box variations on the standard. So in the video, I'll run through exactly how we set up variations, how you can tweak them, where you can delete them and amend them, and how best to use them. If you do find this useful, give it a thumbs up. That'll certainly help me uh, and the visibility of this video. I'd definitely appreciate it. If you want more videos about Streamlabs, about streaming in general, including things like Stream Decks, about Discord and things like that, feel free to hit the subscribe button as well. Finally, if you want to check me out on Twitch, you're welcome to at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. Okay, let's go. First thing you need to do when you're doing this, you need to be on streamlabs.com. This is a Streamlabs online function within the alert box function, which I'll show in a second. You then basically applying this is either a widget within Streamlabs OBS, or you can use it as a browser source within Streamlabs OBS or within some other streaming software such as XSplit or OBS Studio. Once you've navigated to streamlabs.com, what you need to do is log in with your Twitch or your YouTube gaming credentials. That'll allow you to have essentially a link between your account and uh, the ability to use Streamlabs online. We wanna be navigating to alert box here on the features section. It's a free feature of Streamlabs online. If you don't see it here, just do a search in the search bar because they sometimes change up the navigation. Now, when you're on the alert box section here, you have got the choice between alert box one and alert box two. I think that alert box variations are only available on version two. There's not a lot of difference between alert box V1 and v2 but that is one of those differences so first of all within here you can set up the global event types for example if we want to set all the parameters for setting up twitch bits donations you can do that here and these are the global settings for when anybody donates bits on your channel now we have some sort of base to work from and you can choose things like the fade in and out the alert duration font size whether you want the text to overlay the image the specific image file and the audio file and various others you could even open some coding and do some CSS work and JavaScript. Again, I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail about this because I've done separate videos on this in the link in the description below. To add a variation, it's actually pretty simple. So we're just gonna ditch the global event types. For now, I'll just show you what my alert box is for Twitch bits, the global alert box, by sending a test using this button here. This is a test bit alert. 
So as you can see, the writing is in red, um, and that's the standard one that I've got. It plays the graphic for whatever. It's chosen a random amount of bits. It just happens to be one bit. I mean, I don't know about you, but I've got one bits disabled on my channel. I don't like the spam for the price of one cent. <laughs> just the one bit. <laughs> so we want to be setting up an alert variation by clicking onto this alert variation button here. And here's where we actually set the name of the variation. For example, now let's stick with the devil one from earlier. Devil bits donation variation as an example we want this to apply to bits now you can apply this to multiple things for instance donations and bits and we then set the conditions i'm just going to apply it to bits but i just wanted to illustrate that you can apply that to multiple different types of events on your stream and each of the different events has different parameters that you can work within for example if it's a donation that you select it's donation amounts that you can select as one of the parameters if it's bits it's bits amounts that you can select as some of the parameters and i'll just show you a bit more detail about that now so the twitch bitch can bit <laughs> <laughs> Freudian slip in there. I'm not even going to edit that out. So the Twitch bits condition. So we've got a choice of different conditions here. And again, these conditions vary based on the event that you selected for this variation to apply to. So this is, we can leave it on default. We can have it so it randomly does this variation uh, or use bits are at least at a certain value. So anything above that value will trigger this variation or use bits exactly a certain amount. I'm going to go with the devil example that I gave earlier. If someone donates 666 bits, I'm struggling with this. <laughs> and you can also add multiple conditions as well. So I can leave it at that or add multiples. Now, at this point, we can edit all of this information here. So we've got the choice here to set a specific image, a specific audio file. We can even change the layout of it and the fonts and things like that. You can open the code editor and do some CSS work if you're au fait with CSS and JavaScript, that sort of thing. If I just click a, a save on that, it now should appear as a, yeah, here we go, a devil's, a devil bits donation variation. You can toggle it on and off. You may choose to not enable that on your channel. You can also edit it, duplicate it, or delete it using these triggers here by clicking on the toggle. What I will say here is when I first tried to do the variations, there were some standard variations that were on there and I actually had to delete a couple of them just so that Streamlabs Online knew that I was adding some variations. The first few times I tried to add variations, it did not work. So don't be alarmed if that doesn't happen for you. I would recommend just deleting some of the variations that are there by standard and then try adding some new ones. There's no point in me running a test for this now, but to run a test, what I would do is simply click the test button here and it'd show you all the different parameters. For me, it's given my, it's defaulted the zombie. Let me just... So that's if someone's specifically donated. I mean, it says on the text there 100 bits, but because I've asked this one specifically to trigger, it's just picked a random number. So don't worry about that if that happens with you. It's put purely just pulling in random numbers to trigger on that particular thing. But obviously the parameters that you've set on that are that it's 666 bits. So that's how you test it. So I'll just show an example of this in action. I've got a, a variation when someone donates 5,000 bits and it changes the font color on, on my stream. So I'm just gonna do this here send a test for that this is a test bit alert you see the name is instead of it being i think red we showed earlier it's gold instead and just to show a comparison there against the twitch bits uh the standard global one that i've got i'll send a test for this again sending it for this here this is how you know the test event is for the global twitch bits test. this is a test bit alert. you can see the writing is red so it just allows you quite a lot more flexibility in what you're doing in terms of being able to offer specific event types and variances. The main way that you'll see people applying this to their streams is that you'll sometimes see four or five different alert types and it will randomly choose them. A lot of the bigger streamers have like four or five different GIFs or silly branded things that they will do. And it's specifically using variations and multiple types of variations that they've applied. And that just keeps it a little bit more fresh on their stream, uh, rather than the same alert popping up every single time for the donations. And of course, the bigger, bigger stream is also used like branded alerts and things like that. And it gets really, really clever at that point. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that because it's easy to do. Uh, there you go. So I've deleted that variation and they will stack. So you can add multiple to these lists and then there'll be a scroll button uh, that you'll be able to scroll through the different variations that you've added to your alert box. Then what you would do is you would copy the URL and make sure that you pasted that into your Streamlabs OBS. But again, I'm not going into that in this video because the video in the description below goes into detail about how you add alert box to your stream. 
But there you go. That's alert box variations from Streamlabs Online. Hopefully you guys found this really, really useful and it's given you some creative, creative ideas and juices are flowing heavily. Wait, that doesn't... Your juices are prop... Your creative juices are hopefully flowing, not just your juices. That's... That would be weird. Once again, if you found it useful, hit the thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe, guys. Take it easy and have a lovely day.